Summer's here. The 4th of July is right around the corner. You can almost smell those hot dogs and COVID's on the run. So are you looking for a fantastic way to spend the summer? Come with me for a quick walk around tour on this 3060 Regal Window Express. She's very well powered with twin Volvo engines, the good metal outdrives, has a generator, air conditioning, custom flooring, lots of electronics. She's ready to go. Will you be having her? So come with me as we view this vessel here at South Mountain Yachts. Here we are starting off forward starboard quarter. We see we've got a beautiful gel coat blue stripe in there. The whole boat has just been buffed and waxed. She shines like a new dime. Coming here at the bow, we have the anchor. We've got a covered windlass and there's actually storage up under there. We've got our foot pedals. We also have a nighttime spotlight, stainless steel covered so we can pick up a mooring at night. Coming down along the side, we see an LLI. That's a ladies like it feature. We've got a nice sun pad here to the side. We see we've got fender holders right there, which adds a nice touch. And if we have a paddle board or a surfboard, we've got our holder right there. Check out these oversized windows to allow lots of light into the cabin. Regal does a very nice job. Very free with the stainless steel. Notice the windshield frame and the bimini frame is also stainless steel. Coming down along the side, we see the radar arch. Yep, we've got some paint blisters there. It just kind of happens on aluminum arches in salt water with stainless steel. They need to be redone about every 10 years. Here we are at the transom. We see we've got the extended swim platform. Great feature is those pop-up cleats, so as we enter and exit, we don't trip on them. You notice we have the extended swim platform right there in the middle. And we've got trunk storage there, engine flush water bib right there, and a stereo control. Engine access is nice and easy with the push of a button. This whole area, as you can see, comes up. There's the name on this boat. Here we are, checking out the engine space. Now the port engine has just had risers and manifolds done. We've got twin Volvo 5.7 OSI engines with the good hard metal Volvo dual prop. That's something you want to pay attention to. Looking forward, we see we've got the generator. Our batteries are about two and a half years old. Off in the corner, we have our water heater. And then on this side, we've got the vacuum flush system right there. The engine room appears to be neat and orderly. And once we're finished with our inspection, with a touch of the button, We can close our engine hatch right there. We enter the vessel through this starboard door right here. There's a hot and cold shower waiting for us so we can easily rinse off before we get in the boat. If you notice the cockpit decking is a nice plastique gray, keeps the deck cool, quieter, and when you drop something, it just bounces. Here in this bi-level cockpit, we've got a lower transom seat, which if you want to fish, it just folds right up into the transom and acts as a combing pad. We've got an ice maker there. And one great feature is we have plugs for shore power hookup on both sides, port and starboard. We've got some gunnel storage there. And then this space right here is dedicated for an ice chest. We've got 110 outlets, multiple switches right there, and a nice little wet bar. The main seating area here is up one step, 
And if you notice to port, we have this circular U-shaped seating with a nice wood table there. There's a shorter post, so you can lower that and use this as a great big sun pad right here. Got some awesome stereo speakers and amplifier to go with that Fusion stereo that's down below. Here at the helm, we have a captain's bucket swivel seat with a bolster. Right here, we have all of our operational switches from horn to windlass to engine room lights and more. Now all those switches have been replaced so they're nice and fresh. Here at the helm, we see we have a nice built-in footrest right there. The helm's been redone. We've got a new steering wheel. We've got a new Simrad GPS chart plotter radar unit right there. And then a new Simrad VHF radio right there. The, this is all new, so it's nice and fresh looking. As we pull back a little bit, we see access to the bow is nice and easy. Up, step, step, up, and out so we can enjoy that launch pad. This is going to give us an overall view of the cockpit. And then from here, let's go inside. Now we enter the cabin, we've got this dual door here, screen door, or this acrylic opaque slider right there. Now we go down a few steps, and here we are in the main cabin of the vessel. Off to port, we see we've got our galley, there's our fusion stereo and CD player. Lots of counter space right there. And then right here we have our dual burner electric stove, which we keep covered. Down below we've got drawer storage and refrigerator, and up above cabinet storage also. Now as we move forward, you can see these eyebrow type windows right there. We have them covered for light effect right here. Pulling back, we've got a large seating area. This is a great feature. Raise the table for seating and eating. And for those of us that need a little bit of extra space to get down and around, that flips up. Come nighttime, hit the button use the filler cushion, and we've got a great place to sleep. A big area right there. Circling around, we see we have our entertainment up above, our 120 volt system control right there, side one and side two, and then our DC panel is right here also. This cabin is very well air-conditioned, light and bright, odor-free. As we move aft, we see we have a fairly large wet head right here. Regal does a very nice job. We've got a porcelain head, fully lined fiberglass. We've got window and an opening port light, mirrored vanity right there. This is a big plus. We have our tank level indicator. And here's another LLI feature, ladies like it. We have shower curtains to wrap around so the whole area doesn't get wet and get sprayed. As we move aft, we see we've got some nice open stairs there. Great place to store a little something right behind there but notice nice feature here regals added a stainless steel kick plate there 
along with the door sill to keep the boat neat and front clean looking. As we circle aft, we see we've got a privacy curtain. We've got a custom mattress here. There's an actual little box spring for your sleeping comfort. It's just not a big foam pad. You can see we've got a port light right there. Light, mirror, rolled up rest of the camper canvas right there. And this gives you an idea of just how deep it is. It's full beam, it's about eight feet plus and about 60 inches wide. Pulling back, we can see you do have a lot of space. It's open back there. This boat is neat, clean, odor free, in great condition. Viewer today, owner tomorrow at South Mountain Yachts.